Hi everyone, welcome to I Speak English. My name's Hayley and I'm an English as a foreign language teacher. I've been teaching online for the past three years now and I'm here to show you how to use Jamboard from a student's point of view. So let's take a look at Jamboard then. Okay, so Jamboard is like any other Google app. You can go up to your apps icon here and then scroll down and you'll be able to find it here. So just click on that and that will open your Jamboard. Now, if you don't know what a Jamboard is, a Jamboard is basically a whiteboard, but it's on your screen instead. And you can create these different whiteboards or Jamboards to present different information. Um, and you can use it for class projects as well. So if your teacher has given you um, a project with three other different students, you can all work on one Jamboard together. So here's a Jamboard that I already made just to show you. And then I'll show you how you can make it. Okay, so this is a Jamboard. So let's say this is your class um, and you're working on story writing or something. So what you can do with Jamboard, you can add in different images. So if you go to your left here, you can see this tool panel. So here you can go add image. And again, you've got different options. You can upload one from your computer or you can do a search or you can even upload one from your drive and you can add images there. Unfortunately, you can't type on a Jamboard. So these are just screenshots and images from Word documents. So that's the only way if you want typing, you need to screenshot a document and then add that in. You can write. So you've got a pen over here. Um, you can write, but it's a bit difficult. Um, so let's try and write hello, for example. I'm doing this with my mouse. There we go. It's a bit difficult. So if you've got uh, a Chromebook, your writing's going to be really good because you'll have some different features here. I've not got a Chromebook, so I don't have all the features. But if you do, writing should be quite easy. Uh, you can also add in sticky notes as well. So this is the only other way you can type, really, is by adding sticky notes. Um, so you can put like wow words. Okay, and hit save. And then that'll be there. And I can just stick it here, for example, wherever I want. And then you can use this little pointer thing to circle things that are important. And then that'll disappear. So you can do lots of different stuff like this. And again, maybe your teacher might give you a group project and all of you can do this at the same time on a Google Meet and you can add lots of different things and then you can present it to your class. So if you want to upload this to your Google Classroom, the best way to do it is just to upload it directly on the classroom from your drive. So if you don't already know, any Google app you use to create something it will automatically save into your drive, which is connected to your classroom. So if I go to my classroom now, okay, let's go into my class and go to classwork. Let's say I have an assignment to do. This one, for example, it's not, but we'll just take this as an example. I can go add or create, and then you can go straight from your Google Drive and you should be able to see your Jamboard here. There we go. That's the Jamboard that we were working on. So I can go add and then hand in. OK, so that's how to work Jamboard. So go have a play around with it. I'm sure you'll pick it up pretty easily. If you're watching this on YouTube and you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or you can go back to your teacher and ask them too, because they'll know how to use it. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.